this is our situation. We have Azure Data Factory in Azure Portal. Let's say it's our dev environment. So we have Azure Data Factory in dev environment. Also, we can uh, assign this code, this instance, uh, to code repository, let's say GitHub, for example, and every single save causes code synchronization to the Git repository. And as a developer, we can work on our internal development branch. When we finish our work, our piece of work, we can merge the changes to the master branch, let's say. And the master branch is this gold version of code, this gold version of Azure Data Factory code. That code can be get from the master branch by build pipeline in Azure DevOps, in our release management, and wrap up in simple one artifact. That artifact can be sent uh, and pushed to the release pipeline. And in the release pipeline, we can basically deploy that artifact, deploy that version of code, that snapshot of code of Azure Data Factory to any other environment, to any other stage in our solution. So that can be a test QA, UAT environment, or even prod. And that deployment, that published task should be very easy. And that's why I created a custom task for Azure DevOps pipelines. And this task is called Azure Data Factory Tools, Azure Data Factory Publish Task. Let's go ahead and demonstrate its capabilities. This is my Azure DevOps portal where I have and I will build build pipeline and release pipeline to publish Azure Data Factory. My code of Azure Data Factory is already in GitHub repository, which I will show you in a minute. So let's build the build pipeline first. So that would be very easy. New pipeline, and I'm using classical, classic editor. And in this case, I want to show you this in case of um, GitHub repository, because this repository is uh, publicly available. So I can show you that the repository of my Azure Data Factories instances are here. And in this example, I will show you deployment on this example. This is my code. Very simple Azure Data Factory with a few link services and one pipeline. So this is my repository. So I want to use this repository as a source. And obviously master will be my default branch. So let's continue. Then I'm using the empty job. Let's use something on Ubuntu, which should cause that the agent will be faster because we need to just uh, purely wrap up the code of JSON files as an artifact. So we need to add only one task to do this. And this will be publish build artifacts provided by Microsoft. Fine, because I have right, right now I have only one folder, but there will be more of them. I, I want to select the specific folder I want to wrap up. So in my case, it will be ADF simple deployment folder. And basically that's it. Let's change the name, save and run this build. After a few seconds, uh, the agent should finish its job and we should be able to see the published artifact which should contain subfolders like dataset, link services, exactly. This is all folders exactly from our GitHub repository from, from here. That's cool. Let's create then release pipeline, which basically does the whole work and create and publish Azure Data Factory to the instance. So let's create new release pipeline. Empty job again. That would be our dev environment. 
and we need to select artifact. The artifact is that one. Okay, and I will leave this source alias as is, and we have one artifact. Now we need to add one, only one task to our deployment, to our job. So that task, if you already installed that from Microsoft Visual Studio Marketplace, you should be able to very simply find this task, which is called Publish Azure Data Factory. As you can see, I can find it by ADF or by searching Publish Azure Data Factory or Azure Data Factory. When you click Add, you will add this task to the agent job list and then we need to configure all the required fields here. So at the beginning I need to choose the subscription, then the resource group where I wanted to deploy this new Azure Data Factory. In my case it would be RG Block Dev resource group. I have already have that resource group and as you can see I have three services in there, but that Azure Data Factory will be completely new one. And then we need to specify the target Azure Data Factory name. So for this example, it will be ADF Simple Deployment Dev. Okay, and then we need to specify where's the code of this Azure Data Factory, where are all the JSON files, where the all the structure. So we can click those three dots and then specify the folder where all those folders are located. So in our case is this drop folder. And then target region, in my case I want to deploy everything to North Europe. And that's it. This is the completely basic configuration of this task. Yeah, All the required fields has been completed and filled up. Let's name this release and save it. And after that let's create our first release. So what this agent will do now, it basically run the PowerShell module behind the scenes which will be responsible for all the job. So at the first step it will check if our Azure Data Factory with that given name is exist or not. If it not exist it will be created and deploy all the objects in a particular order. Checking all the dependencies and etc. So let's have a look to the log. This is our task, this is our DevOps task for pipelines, and this is and this is the PowerShell module. And all the object has been published. Let's Let's scroll a little bit up and see what happened. So as I mentioned, this is the PowerShell this is the PowerShell module which is responsible for all the deployment. And this is our parameters and additional information. And in this place the module will start working. Azure Data Factory instance doesn't exist at that moment, so that's why it was created. This is the result of this creation and then the next step is basically reading all these files, all these JSON files whom describes Azure Data Factory. So in our case we have six objects in total only, three linked services, one pipeline and two datasets and all those objects will be published in appropriate order as you can see here. And at the end we can see how long this process took. Let's check Azure portal then and refresh everything what is in this resource group and as you can see we have Azure Data Factory here. Azure Data Factory with all objects deployed in there. Let's verify that. We have 
one pipeline, two datasets, and three linked services. Okay, but this is only one environment, this is developer environment, which basically is not necessarily to deploy to that environment, yeah? But what if we'd like to deploy the same code, but slightly changed to additional environments, like UAT, for example? How to do that? Because currently on dev environment, I have pointer to Azure Key Vault pointing to my dev instance of this Azure Key Vault. So basically my goal would be to replace this URL, replace this pointer to another Azure Key Vault located under UAT resource group, UAT environment. So how to do that? In this case I will explain in next video. The whole documentation and details uh, you can find in the Git Hub repository of this PowerShell module, which is using behind the scenes. So here you have all the information about how this module works and what is the options or configurations. If you want to check out this task on your own, I can encourage you to visit Visual Studio Marketplace and find out this um, custom task, searching Deploy Azure Data Factory by Secure Player. The process of installation of this task is very easy.